Welcome back fellow accelerators and today we're talking Molly May. Now I've just been sat on the couch just on my laptop and I've come across an article on one of the news sites and basically Molly May's posted a photograph of herself. She's working out with the baby in the background. Now what I can say is she's definitely doing the best thing by plowing through and trying to get this fitness back on track. Because I know firsthand how difficult it is. Now, even myself, I'm a personal trainer. And in 2015, when Sophia was born, before she was born, I would wake up in the morning, no alarm clock, nice and fresh. I'd take my pre-workout and I'd just swan off to the gym or I'd go and do a run. And basically, I was fresh, workouts were great, I'd had a great night's sleep. Then, when Sophia was born, as much as I love her. My life was kind of turned upside down in terms of I was getting no sleep. She was up all through the night and then she was up at four o'clock. Basically trying to then stick to doing working out and even food was a bit of a nightmare. I found myself in the following months falling out of shape, not doing workouts, diet bad. So I can definitely sympathize with anyone who has a newborn child. If they're sleeping and they're like little angels, that's great, but I think a lot of us know that if your baby's not sleeping and they've got problems like colic and they're up early, I think you know that if you're not getting your sleep, it's a bit of a nightmare. One of the biggest aspects to getting in shape, building muscle and losing fat is sleep. And this is something that nobody really talks about because it's not sexy. So if you've got a child who's keeping you up through the night and even just, it is very exhausting, it's very mentally draining. Basically, it's gonna affect your hormones and it makes it a lot more difficult to stick to this workout plan or even eating food. I know, because I've been there and in the past and even as of today, I do consider myself to have a relatively good habits, routine, willpower, you could say. But during these following months, when you're getting no sleep, it really does put everything to the test. This also affected me psychologically because personal trainers are supposed to be in shape at all times. So it's very difficult. And I can imagine for Molly May that it's also more difficult because she's in this spotlight with millions of followers and all of these deals that she's got with companies that she's under extreme pressure to maintain the image. That's kind of the world we live in but on the mental side, it's good that she's working out. In the unlikely event that you're watching this, Molly, well done, keep it going.